Hello and welcome to Techie Unlocked. We're going to take a look at how we can use Winget to install and update applications within Windows 10 and 11. So we're going to jump straight into our PowerShell window here. We're just going to issue the Winget command. So you can see here it gives us a list of commands we've got available and what we can potentially do with those. So first of all, let's start with Winget list. So Winget list is effectively listing all the applications installed on this machine. It's also allowing us or listing what applications are effectively supported by Winget as well. Because that's listed here, it means we can effectively update and manage those applications. So I'll just do a Winget upgrade here. So you can see here, this is listing all the applications that are supported for upgrade on this machine. And we can do this with a pretty much a one-liner. So let's upgrade one of these applications. So we'll do a Winget upgrade, zoom.zoom. This will take a couple of minutes, but it's effectively upgrading the application with one liner so you can see how easy that is and it'd be just a case of doing a one liner for each one of those or you can do a one liner to update everything a couple of applications i want to leave as is so we're just going to keep that simple and just do one line to prove the concept so we've done an upgrade so if we just do winget upgrade again to list the applications you can see that zoom has dropped off of this list now so you've effectively updated that, uh, that application with one line how cool is that so the next one we're going to look at doing a simple install so to do that we need to search that public repository so we can get search and i'm going to search for adobe so we can get search it's basically searching the public repository for various adobe applications you can see we've got a number listed here so we'll go ahead and we'll install adobe so i'm just going to clip copy that to my clipboard and we're going to do we can get install and we're just going to do that there so you can see that's going to run the install it's downloading that now so let's just double check that's installed so we'll just do a wing get list and then tap adobe and it'll just do a generic search so you can see that's installed they took to 32 bit version version number there and the source wing get so we we want to remove this so wing get uninstall and then we'll just copy this to our clipboard then that will go ahead and uninstall the application so you can see here it'll bring up a familiar uninstall box the other one's effectively silent we won't have any presses on this however it does bring up that additional box you can see so we've got confirmation that's uninstalled so if we do a wing get list adobe again it won't bring anything back so no install packages that's matching that criteria so you can see how quite powerful and quite easy it is to actually manage those applications so just quickly to touch on some other bits and pieces so if we do a wing get list or just a wing get just to show that so you can actually do a full export of the applications and do an import we won't look at that in this video we may do that in another one so you can see how powerful that is uh, and i think we will we'll end it in this one we'll see you in the next one